Get ready for first alert weather days as early as tomorrow night. We're tracking strong thunderstorms into Friday and Saturday as they intensify. As we take a closer look, like I said, it hasn't developed yet, but here's a sign of it. Here's a trough, an area of low pressure that's associated with the jet stream. Usually the storm track brings storm systems in from west to east. This is going to be detached from the jet stream and spin counterclockwise, meandering pretty close to the islands, especially by the time we get into Friday and Saturday. There's the center of it. You can see it's associated with cold air aloft, and because of that, that's a concern for us as we go into the the next couple of days. We're talking about the potential for thunderstorms, deep tropical moisture coming in from the south, cold air aloft, and with those ingredients in place, that's when you could have lightning strikes, heavy downpours, and also strong straight line winds along with some hail, and we can't rule out water spouts with it as well over coastal waters. Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Robbins. First alert weather days are coming our way. We're speeding up the progression now. As early as tomorrow night, we'll start seeing some thunderstorms light up the sky over the far western end of the state. And this low pressure system, it's not loud and clear on the satellite right now. It's still developing. By tomorrow, we'll start seeing signs of it. So make sure to download our Hawaii News Now weather app. It's a great tool to have, especially with our interactive radar. It highly depends on if thunderstorms form over land. We're for sure going to see it over coastal waters, but we could potentially get up to five inches of rain even more if thunderstorms are anchored to the island terrain. Right now, as we take a look at the water vapor image, this shows us the upper atmosphere. You can see that we're tracking this band of moisture, and you don't see that circulation in the low quite yet, so it has yet to develop. It is going to develop according to some of the weather models as early as tomorrow as it drops in and digs closer to us. Thursday night now into Saturday morning will be the concern for us. We have to watch the center of where this low pressure system is. It appears that the most intense rain could be over coastal waters, but it's too close to home that we're going to be seeing the impacts potentially over land. So the strongest storms may be north of the island chain when it comes to the coastal waters, but if the storm sags a little farther towards the south and closer to the islands, that's when we could get some of those thunderstorms fire up and also pop up storms. So it's not like a front that comes in from west to east and slides down the island chain. It's all ingredients based and that's what we're watching into the next couple of days. So the timeline now Thursday evening for the far western end of the state, the Maui County and Hawaii Island. Some of the models show the heaviest of the showers coming our way Friday into Saturday. It's going to be pretty intense Friday night according to some of the weather models as well. We will see place to place varying how much rain we get, but at this point where there are thunderstorms, we could essentially get about five inches of rain. We are going to be watching the western end of the state very carefully tomorrow night at this time. You see nine o'clock, that's where some of the thunderstorms are developing just north of us, and then it gets pretty close by the time we get into midnight. We'll have to see how close it gets to us, and then by Friday morning, things back down ever so slightly just north of Molokai. We'll see a few cells there and then things get really interesting by the time we get into Friday afternoon into the evening. That's when the moisture ushers in and that's when we'll see that deep tropical moisture and some of the thunderstorms develop. So the weather models having a really hard time pinpointing exactly how much rain we'll get, but it looks like this could be a wet one and intense at times where those thunderstorms develop. 73 degrees right now. It sure has been a lovely evening. Tomorrow morning is going to be quiet as well, but we're tracking a few windward and Malka showers. As far as surf, that is going to be on its way up on south facing shores. The storm system has not developed yet. Here's a look at the upper atmosphere. This is going to drop in from the jet stream and be cut off from the jet stream. It's called an upper level disturbance and that's vertically stacked high up in the atmosphere associated with really cold air and that's why we're going to have that instability. And you can see it loud and clear here in our future cast. This is high up in the atmosphere, about 18,000 feet that we're seeing this closed low pinched off from the jet stream meandering just for a few days before it falls apart sometimes Sunday to Monday. So that's good news for us. At least all the ingredients are going to be added here by the time we get into Mother's Day, but right now tracking some thunderstorms are going to be quite busy. Marking in red Thursday, Friday, Saturday. First alert weather days Thursday night now into Friday, lasting through Saturday morning. All right, thank you for the heads up, Jen.
As we track changing forecasts, we could be in for some strong thunderstorms beginning late tomorrow night. And then picking up more on Friday, our chief meteorologist Jennifer Robbins has more on these first alert weather days, Jen. And it is a changing forecast model run to model run. The latest models now intensify those storms as early as tomorrow night. It's a developing low pressure system in the upper atmosphere. And now the western end of the state could see it for tomorrow night. And then it makes its way down the island chain Friday into Saturday for the rest of us. And some of these thunderstorms could be very intense. We are going to be seeing rainfall rates come down at one to two inches per hour. That brings us to totals of one to five inches. And the weather models are having a really hard time pinpointing exactly where these thunderstorms are developing and where we'll get the most rain. So we'll have to keep a very close eye on the sky because this is all ingredient based when it has that cold air aloft that's ushering in and interacting with the deep tropical moisture. Localized flooding, a concern for us Thursday night now into Saturday and improvements will be coming our way Sunday. We're talking about intense thunderstorms, cold air aloft, moisture at the surface, and these are towering cumulonimbus clouds that go high in the atmosphere. Stronger winds along individual cells that could bring on some straight line winds that are very concerning for us. We're talking about above 50 miles per hour with some of these individual cells. Hail could be a possibility. We can't rule out some water spouts over the coastal waters into tomorrow night, lasting through Friday and maybe Saturday morning.